Welcome to Crafting Modernism, Mid-Century American Art and Design. It's one of the biggest shows we've ever had, about 200 objects, 170 terrific artists, and it really talks about the intersection of art, craft, and design, and who gets to define those, and how the boundaries really started to blur after the Second World War. So it's a bookend of the Second World War, 1969, and the 25-year period that was very, very rich in fine art, craft, and design. This is one of the more challenging exhibits that we've done here in a long time. To be very practical, what's the hardest thing was fitting this all into the room and still leaving enough space for people to walk around. There is a great deal of 3D stuff here, so three-dimensional objects that need to be displayed, and a lot of Sometimes what we do here is more two-dimensional frames that hang on the wall. The very popular television series Mad Men really kind of captures the period that this exhibition is really talking about. We see that uh, in, in Don Draper, uh, and we see that in the design of the offices on that show, and his, his apartments, and the apartments and the homes of the other major characters. The Eames chair in Ottoman is probably perhaps the most iconic of mid-century American art and design. It was designed by the husband and wife team of Charles and Ray Eames, and their credo was the best for the most for the least. So they really tried to come up with the best design for the most amount of people for the least amount of money. The curators gave us some guidelines as to what things go together as a group to try to tell a story. So it's my job to try to fit that into our gallery space. We tried to set it up with a table and a chair and things like that in the position that you would see them as if they were in a living room. This is actually one of my favorite pieces in the whole show and, and it's a casserole dish. It's beautifully designed, it's elegant, it would hold enough tuna noodle casserole for four people. That's another really interesting thing about this show is that it really tries to push the, the question, what is craft and, and who gets to decide? This piece by Klaus Oldenburg is a really great example of how blurry the lines got between craft, fine art, and design. He's using what are normally considered craft techniques, cutting and sewing, working with fabric, but he's considered a high-end pop artist. We try to give the show a flair and I mean this is definitely a show with many many pieces in it and they're all different colors and different looks. We tried to give this sort of a 1950s look to it so graphically there is a typeface that we use that is reminiscent of the 1950s. I think there's a there's a pendulum that that constantly swings back and forth in the design world. Every 30 to 40 years, something that was, was old becomes new again. But when that particular design, whether it's an iconic chair or a lamp or a dinner service, first came out, it was fresh and new. It gets a little bit tired, it gets put away, it gets rediscovered in somebody's attic, grandmother's house, a secondhand store, and then there's really a resurgence of really good design that's new for a new generation.